Hi, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. This week's project is another first for me. I'm going to make a wooden tulip out of three different kinds of wood. This piece that's on the lathe now is a piece of apple wood. It's five inches long. It's about three and a half inches in diameter. It's going to be the flower itself. So I kind of wing it on the form. I sort of uh, design, design on the fly, which is kind of standard for these new projects for me. Um, the turning is sped up about two, no more than two times. Uh, most of it's sped up two times just to make the video a reasonable length. Um, had some other stuff going on in the shop, so I couldn't really use the audio of the lathe. I know that upsets people sometimes, but uh, I had other projects going on and other folks in the other end of the shop doing some things. So, And I'll show you some of that actually in an upcoming video. This all sanded up to 240 grit, and I finished it up with Yorkshire grit to 1,000 uh, grit, but uh, I actually banged it up a little bit cutting the pedal, so I had to refinish it when I was done. So I'm only able to show you about a half or maybe two thirds of the hollowing because once you get down to the, the bottom part of it, I'm leaned over, stuck in the way. So I'm going to bring you back when I'm laying out where the pedals are here and I'll just finish up the hollowing off camera. This first line is going to be to the bottom of the V or the, the arc of the pedals. And then the second line is going to be where the slot, they're going to put a little slit down into it um, beyond the V. So I use the indexing tool on my lathe to make a mark, um, four marks, all each a quarter of the circumference. And then I made four other marks on the first line down, which is also uh, at a quarter of the circumference, but it's in between uh, the other quarters. So it's really divided in eight. So we have the, the marks at the top for the tops of the pedal and the marks on the second of the first line down to show where the bottom of the pedal is. And then as I said earlier, the third line down is just going to be a slot cut down in uh, straight down to that line from the bottom of the V. I just used a French curve to uh, to draw these out so they'd be somewhat uniform. And 
And then so I didn't make a mistake, I just scribbled in the pieces that were going to be cut away so that I would make a mistake and start hacking off the pedals. My plan was to use this Dremel tool to, uh, to cut out these parts and then hand sand it, but this was not going to work out well. And I could tell right at the start that this was not going to be good. So um, I don't have a coping saw. I will have one soon. But I, I actually found the finest cut uh, recip saw blade that I had, and I cut these notches out with that. And I'm going to spare you watching all that, but it did work pretty good other than... Um, Sometimes I would go just a little too uh, quickly with it and the tip would hit on the outside of the, the flower. And that's why I had to go back and refinish it. it turned out fine in the end, but uh, it did cost me to have to refinish after I had all these cut. And this was the most time consuming part. Obviously, um, I started 80 grit and I finished up with 800 grit to get these nice and smooth. But it was uh, all done by hand and, and not fast. And you can see some of the marks on the outside where I touched it with that reset blade that I had to go back and fix. And this was all done by hand with the green inside and outside uh, up to 800 grit as well. So I shaped the bottom of the flower and I didn't realize the camera wasn't on but I sanded it up to 800 grit the same as the rest. Uh, then I parted it off with a skew and I realized at this point that I made the sides and the bottom uniform thickness. And then I got thinking about how I was going to attach the stem and realized I didn't really have a very deep base on that. So I'm going to have to go really, really shallow with, uh, with the mortise to put the stem into. So it's just a piece of inch and a half mahogany. And all I did here was um, I turned the profile of the leaves in the center of this. And I left the headstock in with some flat surface on it. And you'll see that when I'm finished turning it. And I used that flat surface to lay on the bed of my bandsaw so I could split the profile piece right in two. Uh, up the center and that would leave me a leaf for each side. This end is going to be the bottom of the leaf, and I needed to leave the, the width of this uh, wide enough so that I could uh, I could hollow it out a little bit so that it would sit on the stem. So I didn't want to go too small, but I wanted to be as wide as my stem, not wider, not smaller. So I turned this down as small as I could so that I didn't have to do too much hand sanding to profile the top of these leaves. And you'll notice that it was good here until I started sanding and then it wouldn't take any pressure from the sandpaper and it snapped off. It didn't hurt anything, but I took it over to the bandsaw off camera and split it in half. And um, you'll see the two pieces when we get ready to put them back on the stem. Then the next thing that I did was I put a very, very slight hole um, Little, a little mortise, or it's more of a divot actually in the bottom of this. I didn't want to go through to the inside and I didn't, so I just put a very slight quarter inch divot in this to receive the stem. And this is a piece of quarter inch square by 12 inch long paduke, 
and I turned the stem out of that and I needed to make sure that I turned it down small enough to match the bottom of the leaves as I showed earlier and um, I put a little bit of a flat spot on it and I wound up just touching the bottom of that uh, flower itself on my belt sander just to leave a flat round circle on the bottom of it so I'd rather than have a tenon on this uh, to go into that little hole that I put in there uh, I decided just to go with a flush uh, glue with the uh, star bond thick which is very strong so it was it's a lot strong enough for a flower Here I'm just checking the proportions of uh, one of the leaves and the flower size to make sure that I'm, I'm down small enough here. And I decided I had to go a little bit thinner than what I'm at here now. So I sanded this up to match and then I cut the two little end pieces off of the bandsaw and touched them on the sander as well. Then the next step I had to put the little um, indentation in the bottom of the leaf so that it would fit onto the stem good and, and have the leaf come off at the right angle. I just did that with a little Dremel tool and um, I've got a bit in this. It's about the same diameter as the stem which worked out great. So I give this a little test on the stem and it, it's exactly what I wanted. And so I'm going to do the same thing to the other one off camera. So now it's time to put everything back together. So like I said earlier, I used Starbond Thick uh, CA glue with the accelerator. 
So I glued the flower on first, that way I would be sure that the leaves uh, weren't going to hit the flower and that would fit on the stem without being interfered with by the leaves. So I put the glue on the flower, accelerator on the stem, uh, stuck them together, and uh, with the accelerator it only took a few seconds and it was great. Did the same thing with the leaves. And I get this five coats of Rust-Oleum clear lacquer to finish it off, and it, uh, it seemed to work pretty well. So if you're still with me, thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate it. Thanks again to everyone who watches the videos and subscribes to the channel. I appreciate that a ton as well. If you like what you saw and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Now I'll put some pictures up at the end, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.